poppy, grape, and watermelon are the best flavors. I love Olipop too, especially for vintage cola, but not much beats those two poppies. Today we're doing an updated hair care wish list. I don't have as many to share, I don't think, as I did the last time I did one of these. And the other time I did one, it was only curly hair products pretty much. But this time I have a mix of natural styling products and then also products I would use when I heat style. If you're new here, I have wavy hair and I do lots of content on that, but I've also been heat styling my hair a little bit more often lately. I've just been letting myself be more okay with it because I do feel very confident in that kind of a style as well, especially like a blowout look. So I have three like blowout products that are on my wish list right now that I would apply to my damp hair and then go ahead and blow dry or air dry and then use some type of a heat tool to style. The number one that I want the most is the JVN Complete Blowout Styling Milk. I've heard super positive things about that. It has really good reviews. I wouldn't usually go for a milky type of product like that for a blowout or like to heat style. It wouldn't be something I would gravitate towards or feel like it would make that big of a difference, but because of the reviews on that, I really, really wanna try it. And I feel like it would be a really great heat protecting and prepping product for before I style my hair. So that is the one I want the most. But the other two that I've had my eye on are the Kristen S Blow Dry Mist, mainly because it's an affordable product. It comes in the same type of packaging pretty much as their leave-in conditioner that I've talked about a lot. You guys know I really love that. So I'd be interested to see how it is in comparison. Like if it's similar at all, just with the added heat protectant or if it's a completely different product. Either way, it's affordable, so it's definitely something that I would be interested in trying out. And then the last product is probably the most popular one. This is like viral everywhere. Everyone talks about it, and I've wanted it for a really long time, but I'm not sure if it is a heat protectant, and I really want a product that is styling and prepping, but also heat protecting because I don't wanna to have to do like multiple steps before I'm styling my hair. So that is the Color Wow Dream Coat Spray. Specifically for me, I want the curly hair one because it's supposed to be better for textured hair. There are multiple different versions, but that's the one that I would love to try. It's just not a top priority for me because that is also like a little bit more of a pricey product. So those are my top three blowout, like hair prepping products. And then I have a few wavy curly stylers. Probably the top of my list right now is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I would love to try that, but every time I'm in store, it's sold out. So it's been a bit since I've looked. Um, so I'm gonna have to check next time I'm in store because maybe the hype on that has died down a little bit and it's not just like selling out everywhere as much. I'm not sure, but I definitely need to check because that is definitely a product I wanna try. I've heard such good things and I love like how unique it sounds like a custard, although that type of product is getting a little bit more popular nowadays. The other one that is still on my wish list, I think I might have mentioned it the last time I did one of these and I still haven't gotten it. It is more of like a high-end product. You can get it on Sephora. It's the Pattern Styling Custard. So that one I've also heard amazing things about and I just really wanna try a custard. Again, that one's a little more pricey, so I'm more leaning towards the Kinky Curly one right now but I would love to try that one as well at some point. So we'll see if I ever end up getting my hands on that. Then we have the Weed Out Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Stronger Hold Gel. So that is a very long name, but I have tried in the past the Weed Out Climate Control Gel, but I've never tried the Stronger Hold version that is a little bit more of a medium to light hold gel. So I'd definitely be interested to try the Stronger Hold because that's what I prefer in my gels nowadays. And I loved the like thin texture of that one. It felt really lightweight. So I'm hoping this one would kind of have the same texture. And I would love to see how that compares with my beloved Curl Smith Hydrostyle Flexi Jelly. I'm not like trying to replace that, but I would love to find other options out there that are just as good or that come close because I feel like that's all I recommend for gel nowadays. But I'll make sure to link it down below so you guys know which version I'm talking about because they do kind of have the same name. I think the packaging might be slightly different though. Either way, everything is gonna be linked down below that I mentioned in this video. I was going to mention the Day Hair Cream because I know everyone's obsessed with that for slicked back looks, like not necessarily if you have wavy curly hair. I know people use it for that as well, 
but a lot of people use it for slicked back styles. Although I do feel like I'm good with the Heritage leave-in conditioner pudding. I recently have been using it for my slicked back styles. I used it today and I feel like it works so, so well. It's like a dupe. For that one kind of, I have used the day hair cream before from when a friend had it. I've just never owned it myself. I feel like the Heritage is a great option if you want something affordable. I'll have that link down below as well. I think it's also linked on my link tree because I talked about it on my second channel where I do all of my YouTube shorts and I do a lot of hair content over there as well. So I did like a slicked style and I showed using that cream because I think it's just really great for slicked hairstyles. And if you don't want to spend the money on the day one, definitely check that one out. I really love it. So I think that's why I'm kind of like good with that, even though I did want the day hair cream at one point and I would have probably put it on this list if it wasn't for recently discovering how good that is for slicked styles. So anyways, moving on, this is sort of something else that I would use for heat styling. I don't know how it would be for my natural hair texture. Maybe if I was going for like looser waves, but I wanted them to be really silky and frizz free. I don't know because I've never tried this, but the Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner, I've just heard so many people say positive things about those and I don't really have a good shampoo and conditioner for heat styling. I just use my normal shampoos and conditioners because they work really well for my hair and I still get good results, but I'd love to have a set specifically for when I heat style that maybe does have some sulfates and silicones in it, but because of that might give me better heat styled results because it makes my hair really soft and silky, which is obviously what I'm going for when I heat style. So those are like the top of my list right now for shampoos and conditioners. I don't really have any others on my wish list because I have everything I need in that department besides heat styling wise. And I also don't really have any masks on my wish list because I love the ones that I have. I will say I did just finish my Brio Gio Avocado Kiwi Mask and I almost repurchased that on Black Friday because Sephora had it 50% off, which is a great deal for that. I really was so close to getting it, but I was just spending too much money in other areas and I decided even if it's just $20, I have other masks right now that I can use that I really like. So it wasn't enough of a priority, but obviously at some point I will either repurchase that or maybe I'll try the other Briogeo mask. I think it's from like the Rosarco line. I'm not 100% sure but it comes in like the white tub with like the colored B for Brio Gio on it. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Don't know why I can't remember the name right now, but that might be a mask I'd wanna try as well. But I do love the Avocado Kiwi one, so definitely one I would repurchase at some point. Moving on, actually you guys, <laughs> did I seriously lie? Because the next product is sort of a mask. I guess it's not technically called a mask, but it comes in a little tub. I've had it in the past and I used it as a mask back then or like in place of my conditioner. But anyways, this I would use for when I heat style because it also is kind of has that smoothing effect. It does have silicones in it. I believe I had this years ago and I used to love it way back before I discovered how to style my natural hair. Um, but then I just forgot about it and I've never used it since. And then recently I saw Melinda use it in like a short or an Instagram reel or something. And I was like, I need that again. So it is the L'Oreal L Vive Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Again, I had this years ago. I heard Kathleen Lights talking about it and I picked it up and I really liked it as like a mask or like using in place of my conditioner. So definitely want to pick that up um, at some point because that is more affordable. So even if I didn't go get the Redken shampoo and conditioner, I could get that to use as like my pre heat styling treatment sort of to give me that silky hair. So I definitely think that's gonna be one that I do pick up pretty soon, which speaking of the last product on my list is a hair tool. It's the Revlon Smooth Stay Coconut Oil Infused Curling Iron. So I have showed you guys my heat styling routine in the past. And nine times out of 10, when I heat style, I use my Tymo Airflow, which is like a straightener, but it can be used as a curling iron. It has this really cool airflow technology. 
it's kind of hard to explain, but basically it's a round barrel instead of the traditional flat rectangular shape of a normal straightener. It has like the rounded edges so that it's really easy to curl your hair. And then there are little holes on the outside that blow air out to cool your hair and set it as it's being curled. So that gives me like beautiful loose kind of waves. And that was what I've always done for the blowout kind of look on my hair when I heat style. But recently I have discovered rollers, Velcro rollers, which are life changing because they give your hair so much volume. And it does take a little bit more time, but I don't mind that commitment because it lasts so long on my hair. I will easily get a full week out of it. And by the end, my hair is still like completely in those big bouncy curls. So when I do that style, I prefer to use a curling iron because it gives my hair more of that curled look and it just works better than trying to use my airflow. I do have a curling iron that I use when I've done that style and it works, like it's okay, but it's really old. I've had it for years and it's just not, I don't really love the wand shape of it. I really want a clamp curling iron. I know those are coming back, but it's honestly just because they're so easy to use, especially if you're using it for what I want to use it for. So I really want a clamp curling iron, but I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money. This is a really long rant for just a curling iron, but I wanted to explain to you why I have a curling iron on my wish list. So the Revlon is like the most affordable one that I could find that has really good reviews. Everyone says they love it, works really well, very simple, sleek, just all black curling iron, and it's affordable. Again, it's specifically the Smooth Stay Coconut Oil Infused Curling Iron. That is another one that I really want to pick up soon. Probably my top three on this wish list right now are that curling iron, the L'Oreal Damage Erasing Balm like mask thingy, and then the JVN Blowout Styling Milk because I've been getting more into heat styling and those are things that aren't too expensive that I can pick up and use for when I heat style my hair. But probably the number one thing for like natural styling would be the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. So if I can get my hands on that soon, I think I'm going to do that. But that is everything for my hair care wish list. I feel like I ranted quite a long time about some of these, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what are your like top couple things that are on your hair care wish list right now. I would love to know. I didn't even think about the fact that I'm doing this video like before Christmas. So it's not really meant as like a gift wish list. It's just like things that I want to pick up in the future. But thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you join the family and I will see you in my next video. Bye.